Hello guys, my name is Hassan Faiz. I'm Master of English from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad, and Master of History, B.A. in Emirates from the University of Peshawar. And I've been teaching English grammar for the last 20 years. I am also the author of uh, this book, Modern English Grammar Book, which is included by 700 pages. This is a complete English grammar book. In this class, I'll teach you the most complicated and confusing English grammatical structure of clauses. In this class, I'll teach you adjective clause. Okay, so first of all, you have to keep in mind the basic concept of adjective clause. Even though it's a complicated structure, but don't worry because I teach in the easiest way and you will understand very well. So first of all, you have to get the idea of a clause. As I have already taught in my previous classes about clause, but here I'll just tell you that what is a clause. So the basic definition of a clause is, clause is a group of related words containing a subject and a verb. So a clause must have a subject and a verb and that is the main uh, two signs of a clause. Now here, first of all you uh, know about a clause. For example, if I say, I thanked the woman. So this is a clause because here are uh, two basic requirements of a clause. Number one, subject, and number two, verb. I thanked the woman. So this is a clause. Who helped me? Here are also two basic requirements uh, you can find. So who is the subject and help is the verb. So this is also a clause. But this is independent clause, which is a complete sentence, and this is a dependent clause, which is not a complete sentence. And this dependent clause always needs a main clause to explain its complete meaning. So for that purpose, we cannot write this dependent clause without of an independent clause. While we can write independent clause without of dependent clause. That's why we say it is dependent clause. Depend mean it depends on another clause. This is one point. Now, here, I'll teach you adjective clause. What is adjective clause? So, all the clauses uh, like adjective clauses, noun clauses, and adverb clauses, all of them are dependent clauses. Now, adjective clause. So, in adjective clause, <coughs> when we use subject pronouns who, that, which, so how we will understand an adjective clause and how we will make adjective clause of independent clauses. So we have two independent clauses here. Number one, I thanked the woman. So this is one independent clause. And she helped me. This is another independent clause. And now you see both of them have subject and verb. So both of them are clauses and both of them are independent clauses because they have main subject. And do you know main subject? So main subject will always be in personal pronoun like I, she, he, it, they, you, we. So that is called main subject. While in uh, dependent clause, we do not use main subject. We use uh, pronouns like, uh, interrogative pronouns like who, 
that which so this is uh, not uh, interrogative pronoun but it is uh, a pronoun so who that in which we use these sort of pronouns in uh, adjective clause so that is the difference in independent clause we always use man subject and man subjects are like i we you they he she it they are called man subjects while in dependent clause we use like words who that which so now these are two independent clauses and now i want uh, to make of these two independent clauses an adjective clause so how i'll make it so i can make like this i thanked the woman who helped me now you see this i thanked the woman so she helped me this woman is she okay and now this she is who here so this who modifies this who modifies this woman so we can say i thanked the woman who helped me so this is adjective clause in this adjective clause modifies this noun woman you now modify when you modify something it means that you bring changes or you um, bring some uh, uh, different uh, changes or you increase quality or decrease quality for example uh, adjective uh, as we know that uh, uh, the definition of an adjective adjective is a word which modifies a noun or pronoun so they are called adjective clauses because they play the role as adjective as adjective modifies a noun or pronoun in the same way adjective clause also modifies a noun and pronoun so here this is adjective clause and this modifies this noun that's why it is called adjective clause so when we want to make these uh, two independent clauses in a dependent clause so we can make this structure and this is basically a complex sentence because a complex sentence will always be included by one independent clause and one dependent clause so the whole structure is complex sentence this is independent clause and this is dependent clause and we can change an independent clause like this in this in these two independent clauses in a complex structure okay and uh, here we use who and here number two i thanked the woman that helped me we can also use that instead of who and here the book is mine this is independent clause it is on the table and this is also independent clause now these two independent clauses will be changed to a complex sentence in which one will be dependent clause and one will be independent clause now look at this one the book which is on the table is mine now you see the book so this which modifies this it okay this which is used instead of this it so the book which is on the table is mine now here which is on the table from here up to there this is basically adjective clause now you look at this which is so this is the subject and this is the verb but this is not the main subject that's why it is called adjective clause the main subject uh, the main subject is this one okay so the uh, sorry the ba this is not the main subject the main subject is this one the book is mine so this is uh, the main uh, clause or you can say independent clause and this is dependent clause so you can say in other words that the book is mine this is independent clause which is on the table this is a dependent clause and you can write in this way so this is a complex sentence the book which is on the table is mine so this which is used to basically for this it 
okay and uh, here the book that is on the table is mine so here we can also use that instead of which okay now here I'll uh, uh, tell you another important point we can use who only for persons or people while which only for things while that can be used either for uh, can be used for both for persons people and for things so here we can use who only for people and which only for thing while that can be used for both for people and for things now you here we have used that for people i thanked the woman that helped me okay so that i have used for this woman and here the book that is on the table is mine so that i have used for the thing so we can use for both but here i have used uh, who only for the person woman and here which only for the thing so that is another important point so in this way uh, this was uh, the basic the basics you can say of adjective class in my next class i'll teach you uh, more detail but these were very important uh, points about adjective clause uh, and that is uh, this is adjective clause and this is main clause an adjective clause cannot be written without of main clause because adjective clause is not a complete sentence so this is the end of my class if you want to learn more about grammar so you click on that uh, red uh, button and then click on all on the bell icon in all so all my 121 videos will come to you and you will study step by step and you will improve your english grammar moreover if you have any question or any complicated grammatical structure which you do not understand so you must write in comments i'll make another video on that so thanks for watching please subscribe like and share bye bye